Hello and welcome to another video for Sonic Sorcery, where we create magic with sound. I'm Stefan Key, your Sonic Sorcerer, and today we're gonna create something like that. <laughs> ambient music or meditation music and in one of the last videos you saw me using a lot of sort of expensive plugins <laughs> and you might think like oh okay yeah shit I'm never gonna be able to make uh, awesome music if I don't have those expensive plugins and this is where I can say no worries there's a lot of beautiful free plugins actually that you can use in order to create something like that and <laughs> as a matter of fact I was only using free plugins in in this uh, project so let's have a look what those plugins are and how I use them and we start by checking out the website of quiet music what a beautiful name for a company. It sounds exactly like this will be something we want to do, right? And they have plugins and relaxing music and everything, but then they have free plugins, you know? And I own also the full versions of the plugins because I really like what they are doing. But, and they're also really affordable, by the way. Like they're really really good price between five to fifteen dollars or something but you can download everything for free and for those uh, for this video i used only free plugins so the free versions and we have the magic drum here which is kind of like a hang drum um emulation and then a plugin with a beautiful name of healing super nice singing bowl recordings kind of like a sampler of singing bowls and some atmospheric sounds and then my favorite the serenity which is a beautiful pad synthesizer with nature samples so you can get all those uh, plugins on the website and i will show you the link in the video description now let's go back into the project and let's have a look at the different elements and um, everything is in the key of a minor so nothing special only the white notes on the keyboard and those are the instances we have here like i have two times serenity and then one instance of healing and one instance of magic drum light and let's turn this all off by now and let's start one by one. So we start with the texture, right? If we have a look here at Serenity. Wow, I really love the design as well. It looks super beautiful, the interface. And basically what you have here, up to three different pad sounds. You can change the waveforms, you can modulate the sounds and uh, you can add textures. And that's a beautiful thing. You, you have like nature recordings, crickets, birds, noise rain waves water flowing so let's check this out for this first texture i just have basically a couple of notes that i played and it sounds like that and it's just this texture sound here everything else is muted And then if you want, you can add some birds, for instance. And you could add some water flowing. Beautiful. 
and then this keeps repeating uh, it's in six bars and also for like meditation and ambient music I prefer to have like six and twelve and twenty four and nine you know like those kind of lengths not necessarily eight bars like in electronic dance music it just feels more intuitive and more round to me whereas fall to the floor music is more like boxed and more yeah straightforward in a way and this is more round and more flowy that's why i prefer those note lengths okay so let's have a look and the listen at the second one so here's something really cool if i turn this off it sounds like this and looks like this the notes So that's another instance of serenity again. This time playing this pad and a little bit of texture. And for now it's just like two notes, right? C and F. But listen what happens if I turn on this beautiful MIDI effect by our friends from um, Production Music Live. They have created this awesome chord generator tool, which transforms a single note <laughs> into a beautiful chord. So before, let's, let's solo this and after. I turn it on now. Wow, what happened with that one note? It's like magic, right? And that's really beautiful. And basically what it's doing, you can first, you can change uh, the key. You can switch between minor and major. I leave it at uh, minor because um, for now we are in A minor. And maybe let's also see the info view. So if we go here, there's a little explanation actually. So um, below 64, it's major and above 64, it's minor which tells us that we're actually in C major, which is the relative key to A minor. So um, these chord progressions are actually in C major, but they use the same notes like A minor, so that's not a problem. And now we can uh, do cool things, you know, because I recorded this chord progression into a new MIDI channel, you know, because if you just see the notes here, you don't see the actual chord progressions, but I created a new MIDI channel, selected the MIDI from the Serenity pad, and then recorded the chords that were output by the chord generator. And then it actually looks like that. So here you can see <laughs> what happened. C3 was the note. And this is everything that has been added, right? So first of all, it made a triad out of it. So it added the E and the G. And then what also happened is bass drop. So another instance of the root note was added. So we have a, like a low C, like a C2, below the C3 that was there. But then also we have a C4. We also have a, another octave higher. We have an octave lower and an octave higher. And this in and of itself, octaves are very powerful um, because they are the most uh, resonant intervals and they can also just make the chords sound a lot richer and fuller. So we have that double root basically. And then we also added a seventh and a 13th below. And then we end up with those beautiful chords and this is for both, both of them, right? So actually when this is played, those chords are actually played, even though you see just two notes here. And that sounds really beautiful. And uh, yeah, you can download this amazing chord generator for free and you can just play around with it. But in general, you know, like if you have like seventh or ninth chords, like those are more jazzy or dreamy and um, yeah, tend to be more in the realm of um, meditation and ambient music, especially if you extend the chords with like dropping the bass notes, doubling the root note and making them just like really lush, you know, and there's even other stuff that you can do. Here you can see I automated something. 
so you can also raise the fifth of the chord and we don't go too deep into music theory yet i will do another video about music theory basics and and hacks and stuff but this is already a pretty powerful hack and you can just play around with it but you can see uh, i automated this here so you can raise the fifth by an octave and if we have a look here at the automation if i go here then you can see first time i play a c and an f and then i play a c and an f but this time the fifth is raised right so actually it looks like that uh, we have the fifth here and the fifth there those are raised so that creates variation on the second repetition right so all in all it sounds like that both together So you should be able to hear difference in the chords when they come in here next time. And I'll pay attention how it's changing slightly. You know, and it's all about the subtle changes. You know, like ambient music, meditation music, it wants to be not invasive or intrusive, you know, and you don't want too much engagement. It's more like something that is as pleasant as it is, can be in the background, you know, you can listen actively, but you can also have it in the background and the subtle changes keep it interesting, but don't make it too engaging. Okay, so let's um, add some melody. So now we have this other beautiful instrument here, healing, which if I solo this, sounds like that. I have the preset Aurora here. And here with this ADSR, I created kind of like a bell sound out of a singing bowl. You know, like if you have the original settings, it's more like that, like real bells. Right, but if you shorten the decay and the release and the sustain, you get this more plucky, melodic sound. And I also took out some of the high notes, like with the filter, cutting off some of the high notes so to make it a little less bright, to make it sound warmer, basically. So we add these. And again, those were just notes that I played on the keyboard, like just on the C minor, uh, sorry, C major scale, A minor. And, you know, without any specific rhythm, just by feeling, just a couple of notes, playing what sounds good and then just recording those notes. And then we have another element. Now we look at the hung drum. This is set to the scale of A minor now. Which means all the notes are in the A minor scale. And I played again just some notes that sounded good to me. And even if it says like C sharp and D sharp, F sharp, which are not part of the C major scale or A minor, it's still, they're still in key because those notes are triggering notes that are in the A minor scale so no matter which note I play I will always end up in A minor on this setting here and yeah I just added some delay to it to give it some movement and what we have here the same some delay And 
there you have it. Like you could have this playing forever, basically. And it was not difficult at all. Like you see, it is really simple. Just a couple of notes. And all those instruments are free for you to download. Put a link in the description. And of course, for my Academy supporters, the adepts and the mages, they will be able to download this Ableton project with the notes and the chords and all the settings here. So that's it for this video. I hope it encourages you to make music and have no excuses on you cannot afford those expensive plugins there's a lot of good stuff out there i will show you more in the future that is really reasonably priced or even free like this so big shout out to quiet music for making those things available for free and i hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one bye bye hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as I enjoyed making the video and if you are new to music production and you would like some support or just in general you're looking for a community of fellow Sonic Merlins that are supporting each other and empowering each other to create magic with sound you might want to check out our Academy for Sonic Sorcery there's different tiers uh, with which you can join with as little as $5 per month. You can join our weekly online meetings and our Telegram group where we give feedback to our projects, where we can ask questions if we feel stuck and just in general share everything related to sound, healing and uh, meditation music and everything that we come across that we think might be of interest to the members. And then as you go higher as an adept and mage, you will be able to download uh, my Ableton projects and you get discount in my online store for uh, the products that I'm offering, like templates and loops and stuff. And as a mage, you will also get all the benefits and a 19-minute monthly personal private class with me, like online coaching. So if that is something that you resonate with, if you feel the call, we are super happy to welcome you at the moment. We are nine members and growing. And yeah, we would love to see you there to co-create some magical stuff together. And in the next days, you will see some of the beautiful things that already have been created within the Academy. I'm so excited to share like breathwork journeys and shamanic down tempo tracks and meditation music all beautiful things that have been created within the academy and we will show you some of it and my students will break down the process in a video for you so stay tuned for that and with that being said boom, and see you in the next video